Oh, no, 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 no. See, this might seem meaningless to most, and, they, and, and the Commander fans want you to think that, but no, 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 no. We owe you a Thanksgiving feast ass-whooping in the worst way, and it's on its way. Says on the beat, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause he want a light, and yeah, lights I've been with midnight to the sea. I've been going through some things, trying to get my mind right Push the bucket to the lid, push that bitch into the fish Gotta get the full control, gotta get my mind right Hair yeah, lights, I've been with midnight through the sea I've been going through some things, trying to get my mind right Push the bucket to the lid, push that bitch into the fish Gotta get the full control, gotta get my mind right yeah. Oh yeah, the moment is here, baby, we keep receipts We remember all of the stuff that y'all was talking we remember that, Commander fans. We remember that, Commanders. I hope that the Cowboys team remembers how much trash they were talking, how coming into this, Sam Howell was this, Sam Howell was that, draft season. Oh, yeah. They mm. thought that they were going that. away. They thought that they were coronated. They even still think that they got their quarterback. I can't wait to show them on Thursday night that they need to rebuild all the way around. I can't wait for it. Because I sat in that crowd. I sat out there in that cold-ass game. I watched Commander fans talk trash to me the entire time. Oh, payback is going to be a mother. And it's going to be on national TV in front of everybody. But there are some things to shore up. And this is where I come in, right? Because I got to show you those things on tape. We're going to do that. We're also going to watch the Commanders, some clips from the last game that they have. And we're going to break this thing out in a conclusion. But this is the preview of the matchup, all right? So let's get into the film. Dallas had a blowout win of the Carolina Panthers, but they really had a hard time stopping the run. Uh, a lot of it had to do with really just gap responsibility and, and people just not really handling the run fits very, very well. Um, you could just see that Carolina could get to the second level. Um, and they did it with different concepts. As you can see right there, it was a, a counter right here. It, it was a power. You know what I'm saying? With the guards pulling. And our interior defense alignment have to do a better job of, 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 of holding their own. You see Mozzie getting whooped out of there. You see, you know, our interior. You know, they kind of play hero ball this game. And I don't know if the effort was necessarily there to really stop the run. Like, they treated it as if it was just the Carolina Panthers. But see, right here, where the Cowboys, you know, uh, they get a little bit more aggressive in their stunt with their run fit. They were fine. But other times when they tried to play straight up, Carolina was just chewing it up on the ground against the Cowboys until they had to pass. As you can see right here, uh, that's Mozzie getting turned. Uh, Mozzie didn't have as great of a game uh, as people want to, you know, point out. But the young boy is going to have to turn it on. Um, we're going to have to figure out because Washington do they do have the tools to be able to do some of these these things if they're patient, but. Dallas in this game, they were out of gaps a lot of the time. Uh, here they do their job and they stop it. But let's hear from Rio and what he thinks about Washington. It's just bad all around. There is not one sliver of silver lining to take from this game today. You sacked Tommy DeVito nine times. You sacked him nine times. That feels like as many sacks as we've gotten all season. And they still scored 24 offensive points on us today. Tommy DeVito threw for 86 yards last week. He just threw for 250, three touchdowns, no picks versus this defense. We let a fucking Jersey Shore cash member come here and throw for 250 and three touchdowns versus our defense. They should all be fired today. I hope y'all had a good laugh like I did, but this week is going to have to be assignment football. Washington does a very good job in the RPO concepts, screens, um, they do have some running backs that can do some things, but Sam Howell on the ground, um, he's a guy who can run the football, um, but he often his decision making is what gets him in trouble. And I, I pointed this out time and time again, and we're going to watch it from the wide angle. Watch his eyes the entire time. He doesn't scan. He he's he's looking at his receiver the entire time. He knows what he wants to do, and Dallas is going to have to take advantage of that. Um, Sam Howell, when, when the pocket gets a little bit shaky around him, he doesn't know what to do often. 
Um, Dallas is going to, Washington will turn the ball over. Dallas is going to have to capitalize on it. And really, their, their, their defense is Swiss cheese, man. Um, Dallas can, can pretty much do whatever they want. Uh, on the back end, Washington, um, th there's vanilla of a defense as it comes. But we have to do a, a good job of getting them out of their layups, the easy things that they want to do, uh, like that that last play. And like I talked about before, the screen game, you know, they got Antonio Gibson, X receiver, and then they got Brian Robinson, who I think is one is a really good running back and can get going. So what Dallas has to do early is be able to play assignment football, not get out of gaps, and not give – this Washington run game confidence to be able to run and to play action like you see right there. Dallas has to be able to stop the run, get them in passing situations, and make Sam Howell uncomfortable uh, in the pocket as you see right there. And then right here you're watching Tommy DeVito just knife them up with just simple concepts. You know, we played against Tommy DeVito. He was nothing special. And you just watch him knife them up like, like, like they were nothing. Look, I mean, these are just simple concepts. He's able to have a clean pocket. He got sacked nine times, but when he kept it clean, like they they were just able to do whatever they wanted to do on the offensive side of the ball. And he looks very, very comfortable. Uh, Dallas has to do a good job of, of keeping Dak comfortable. You know, we have to establish the run so that we can get the play action game going as well. So here are the top three things that Dallas has to do in order to secure a victory on Thanksgiving. Number one, Dallas has to stop the run. If you stop the run, you can make this game so much easier on yourself, right? And the last time that we saw Dallas, we were Swiss cheese as far as the run game go. Uh, Carolina was able to to kind of do what they wanted to do until they had to pass. And being it is a short week, you have to be able to shore up the small things because you're not going to be able to install a whole bunch of new stuff. Both teams will have a grasp of what teams what each team can do, but the small things are going to matter. And I think that that's where Dallas has the advantage, being able to do the small things over the course of a whole game. Washington has splash plays here, splash plays there, momentum plays, but throughout the whole course of a game, they don't do the basic things very well. So if Dallas can do something as, as I don't know, as simple as it sounds as stopping the run, they definitely have an advantage in this game because uh, you can make Washington one-dimensional. And uh, a lot of throwing for Sam Howell, sure, he's a guy that can throw, he can spin it, but he's also a guy, this is this is one of the top pressure, pressure defenses, manufacturing pressure defenses in the whole NFL. That gives Dallas an advantage there. And if they can get a lot of pressure on Sam Howell, um, you're looking at a very, very easy night. Number two, uh, Dallas has to make sure that on offense, you don't turn the football over. Do not turn the football over. Like I said, short week, just be able to execute the small things. Don't get too sexy. Don't get too cute. Just go out there, execute the game plan. We have the advantage when it comes to coaching. And let's keep it there. Let's not try and do too much. Let's go in. Let's take care of business. Washington doesn't have the secondary to mess with us. Um, they have the interior defensive line, and they're not as bad against the run when I watch them as it may seem, but Dallas has the advantage in the passing game. It's about as vanilla as it gets when it comes to that secondary, and the concepts that Dallas has as far as the passing game goes, having CD Lamb, Brandon Cooks emerging, uh, Jake Ferguson, there will be holes in that zone all day, and, and, and when we want to go man-to-man -man on the outside, the moment is too big for their corner. St. Just is okay, but the moment is is too big for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, and number three, be humble. You know what I'm saying? Be humble. Remember what it felt like week 18 last year when it was a game that we felt was meaningless. Remember how they acted. Remember that. Remember how they acted like it was a meaningful game. Well, now this is a meaningful game. It's a meaningful game for Dallas, at least, because you have to still hold serve. You have to be able to keep pace with the Philadelphia Eagles. You cannot you cannot have a shot at winning the division without winning this game. So Dallas has to take care of business. You have to be humble in every snap of this game. We know that you just had a game a couple of days ago, but this is nothing new to us. We do this every year. So, But 
Washington doesn't do this every year. Sam Howell doesn't do this every year. This is his first Thanksgiving. So make him feel it. Be humble. Stay on top of the process. Take care of business, man. And those are my three things, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Leave a comment in the comment section. Love you guys. Remember, I'm back. And let's get it. Go Cowboys. Peace.